Hello everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game The Infected, and we are in season two and now episode 34. Well, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. No, I can't zoom in, Trev. In that direction I can see a lot of movement. Um we are kind of heading towards uh, a light value sort of battle. Uh, a battle brought on by our light value going around the horn, so to speak. So it's going to get close to 9.999 as soon as I put the furnaces back on. Um, and I don't know. Like, I can see these guys. They're just there. Um, so I don't know whether that means they're just a random mob or whether they're the ones that will come towards me once they realise that there's an attack you? I do know. Anyhow, we're going to keep uh, things a burning, and I'll go and show you a few things. So I've got 10 cobalt, two, uh, 10 copper, both running there. In this direction where they are, just don't want to get too close to them, but they're just through there. You can see them mucking around there in the bush. Um, I've upgraded a few more of the tips on some of these guys on this side. You can see I've got a little bit of barbed wire fence going on, so there's a little bit of protection. These are normal spikes, not that. What the? Can't get away from me, dude. Honestly. Um, and now, um, on the other side, I kind of did the same thing, but I'll show you something. A bit weird, but we're gonna try it. Um, this one hasn't been upgraded, but all these ones have. And look, look. I upgraded these and put them backwards. See, I think it was uh, in the comments. Uh, a comment was made by uh, Jenny. I think it was Jenny. Hope I pronounced her name correctly. Apologies if I didn't, but I'm going to use her advice. She said about moving them backwards. Now I hope that they're far enough back. I'm I'm gathering that they come up here and then they get caught on the spikes anyway. Maybe it's the black tips part of the spikes which is dangerous to those guys, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, we're going to try it, um, and the same here, we've got a few little panels of the barbed wire fencing along here as well, so I don't know, whichever direction they come from, we're going we're gonna to test it out. So, um, yep, we'll go up, what are we up to, nine and a half, 9.5 of these guys been done, they have. Oops, a little bit too quick there, Trev. I did make another cupboard for these guys, so we've got a little bit more storage space for both the cobalt and the copper. Um, but yeah, I had uh, a reasonable amount of both actually. I've still got a kind of a overflow chest, I guess you could call it, and that's something that I guess we're going to have to use somewhere down the track, whatever wherever that might be, I suppose. But I am going to just cook all these guys up as best I can. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Seeds, seeds, seeds. I'll put these back here. Got heaps of seeds, by the way. Um, so where are we up to? 9.6. I don't think this is going to take us over. Uh, iron ore, we've only got two. Aluminium, whoop, whoop, we've got one. Lead, we've got enough in the lead. Yeah, we're down in lead. Maybe we should do lead next. Peter didn't have one more lead. What's that? That's cobalt. There's coal in there. Nothing in there. Okay. Alright, might have to do something a bit weird here. It's a pity that that wasn't copper, hey? Oh, we can. Eh, it doesn't matter. We can do another run. If we get too many, we can always pile them into these end chests, I guess. Anyhow, uh, what I might do is turn one of these off so I can control things a little bit better. Yeah, actually, I don't really want the battle at night. By the way. So, okay, we might do that. As soon as this is finished, we'll see if we can stop this before it goes to 9999, which is going to be pretty close. Alright, that one goes out, we can yank those out. Cool. Stop that. 9925. 
Jeez, Trev. Pushing it to the limit. Let's see. Gonna have one too many, I gather. So we can just put that into the overflow, I suppose. Alright. Hey, Mike, how you going? Uh, well, look, I'm gonna have to go to bed. So how's the fire going at the moment? I did put some stuff into it recently, so it's not too bad. Yeah, I can just go to sleep. Uh, anyway, we'll go to sleep a bit early. Let's do that. I wonder what Mike does when I'm asleep. Okay, it's 3 a.m. If he hasn't got anything to do, I guess he just doesn't do anything. and just doesn't have anything to do, nothing new. Oh, although I suppose the plants might need watering and picking and harvesting and all that kind of jazz, so... Where was that? There he is. You can't get away from me, little froggy. I don't want you to get away from me. <laughs> Just throw a stick full on the ground. Let's stick our nose out the other way for a sec. We we'll grab another frog. I just harvested a melon from there, that's weird, just off camera before we came on. We still, oh, probably can't see a great deal at night, eh? Oh, there's a deer. No, I can see one. Yeah, I'm sure I saw someone. There they go, they're still moving around down there. Really? Alright, well... Oh, actually, I used up all the stones, too. I was absolutely flying along getting all the um, iron fragments to do the tips of the spikes. Uh, I wonder if the st Oh, I probably haven't had that many. How many's back? Oh, no, there's a few. I did put the crate there thinking, oh, well... At least I can, um... Throw them in there if I have too many of them, sort of thing. Okay, and then we can just throw the rest in this crate here, which is cool. So they're ready to fire up again, which we will do in the morning. Well, it is morning, but you know, the light part of morning, because it's only 3.44am. Um, there's probably not a lot else I can do, except I might go on Sticky Big um, at the power again. So we've got five, six, seven solar panels. I think that's right. I was going to make a whole bunch of these guys. So I need aluminium ingots across the range and electrical parts. So those seven are working. Um. Okay. Wow, that's amazing. It's actually holding its own kind of thing at night. And that's only because the wind is up a little bit. So that's really that's really cool. Pretty happy with that. Alright, well, we just have to basically wait until morning, and then we can uh, encourage these guys to come and just, I guess in one way, we're just really just trying to test out, um, oops, have to go down the stairs first, Trev, um, testing out these new, the new way, I guess, of battling these guys, because I know Jay was saying in the comments, come here for a bit, that, um, his son Tyler was kind of having a huge amount of success with not having them get inside the base. So I gather he's upgraded all these spikes. I think that's what Jay was saying. So I want to do that. I think that's a good idea. I mean, I don't want to waste all my time. Like, if you can leave Mike just to run around and repair things with the repair kits and all you have to do is to keep the number of repair kits up, then yeah, that's the way to do it. I think I kind of pretty much had that happening last season. So there's 24 repair kits in there, so should be fine, I would have thought. And he went out. Is that another frog? Come here. I'm just doing what John was telling me to do. Harvest those frogs. Which is a good idea. Keep yourself in a huge supply of meat. Which is a good thing. Look at that. That's pretty cool. 
Actually, there's two being cooked up there, and I've got one. How about we just throw these in here for additional biofuel, which I'll still use now and again. I've got a little bit, just four there, but 60-odd um, oil, so I should be able to start making a bit more plastic fairly soon. And then probably back to the electrical parts again, because I need a fair few more for the um, batteries upstairs. So what's the time? Quarter to five. Won't be too much longer and we'll be at the point where I kind of want to encourage these guys to attack. I don't know. I think I'm going to do what I normally do. Stand on that um, oil extractor the top of there and then look both directions. Is that another frog, by the way? This one over here? I think it is. Not Mike. Did you see that, Mike? Pretty good, eh? Not much of a chalker. There's a pumpkin there, but I'm I'm not going for it. I'm not falling for it. Actually it'd be interesting to see whether they're actually still there. Do they have their little camp over there and then you know, at the moment that's where they're gonna attack from maybe. It doesn't take long to produce more oil. I only took those out just before I came on camera. Wow, well, yeah, that's a 73 now. <laughs> well, I think that's doing alright. Oh, and John was saying about this too. I think it's a good idea. Look, just make a few more of these guys, and then um, Mike can just go out and just fill them up. You have heaps of um, food. Won't have a problem then. I have a feeling that if you look inside the kind of Wikipedia thing for the game, uh, actually, is it under food? Yeah, these guys the fruit salad and the veggie salad, these are the ones we should be making all the time. Uh, empty can veggie mix, empty can. And it's just the melons, that's right. Hmm. Pretty long perish time, actually. So hang on, uh, where's the veggie mix? Actually, where is the veggie mix? What the? Meat stew, potato pie, bacon pie, onion soup. I did use that a lot, because it was for helping my thirst. Yeah, I want to make probably the small rations a lot, actually. Egg, melon, mushroom, and raw chicken. Okay. Hang on, I can't remember that. That that one I can remember, the fruit salad. Veggie mix. Hang on. Oh, there it is. Cucumber corn potato. Oh, yeah. No, I can remember it now. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. Well, especially if we get a second uh, greenhouse running, if these guys are down here, perhaps this greenhouse will help to feed the barn animals, which we've got. That's why we've left a fair bit of space for two things. One, the garage, and two, the, the uh, barn area for the animals. Um, but if we go up the top there, we might have another area set aside for a second greenhouse. I'm not sure if that will give him too much uh, work to do, because Mike's going to run around and have to manage both of them. That didn't make a lot great deal of sense where he just went. Ran around, oh, because of the door. I really should have put these two buildings just a little bit further apart. It's, he's probably, you know, kicking up a bit of a fuss about that as well. Alright, 6am. Starting to come. Oh, there you go. Starting to. I think it's a bit cloudy too, so it probably doesn't help. Alright, we'll just throw a few more stones in here. Yeah, there's still an awful lot to do. Alright, I'll probably just turn on one of these furnaces. It'll... What the crap was that? Oh, that's just the... Looking at the side of the building there and thinking to myself, it's on fire. Let's 
be a rock there, it's kind of hard to see. Alright. Oh, it doesn't really have to rain now, it's like, I want a nice sunny day to see the guys attack. Pretty hard to see anything when it's all this kind of, I don't know, mist hanging around. Anyway, it is what it is, we'll just have to deal with it. Let's save the game, start up one of these guys. You know what it's like, they always take ages to appear anyway. Or would it make that much difference if one one of them was still running? Yeah, it's still a bit slow. certainly has to start all over again but uh, they they are normally fairly slow to get here but I think that might also depend on how far they have to come so are these guys gonna get organized and just come oh, man. <laughs> can't see a thing it's almost like they do take a while to get here but I don't know why that is do they let it run past a little bit more and then it triggers, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. You guys finished yet? Just about. Alright, it's triggered, so I'm going to put this out. I'm going to stand on my favourite little position just here. And I can't see a thing. They must be up here because the lights running up here. So maybe they, what if they ever oh, they to destroy that. wasn't that bad for me. Hang on. How badly was I injured? Oh, my knees, apparently. I'm not quite sure how I got hit in the knees, but... So hang on, 60 health? Eh, not that bad. The beauty of that was... I my arrows back. I think I played that a little bit smarter, though. What the crap? How did I get way over there? Hang on, I'm getting my other stuff first. Hang on. Before these guys disappear. And I tell you what, thank goodness I don't um, get too badly damaged by my own traps and whatnot. So they actually only broke one trap, and it was a wooden one anyway, I think, wasn't it? I don't think that... Yeah, that was the wooden one. Hang on, I'll take... Go and go get my arrow. Holy dooly, I must have missed him by a mile. Well, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was only a small miss, but it went a long way. Anyhow, well that worked out all right. Ooh. Thanks, Mike, for doing that. You're a good man. Where's he gone? He must have been still going back to pick up more um, repair kits. All right. Guess what? We have to um, do the spike again. This one in the fence I might put this way. Maybe that's a good idea. You put one that way, and then you can put... Thanks for that, Mike. Pity he didn't build them for you. And you can put the other one that way. That could actually be handy. So I need... Eight sticks, a couple of logs, some rope. And then I probably should upgrade them. Sorry, mate. Taking two of your logs. Well, actually, I know what I'll do. 
Hang on, I need eight, don't I? I think one log will do the whole thing. Just throw it down there. Whoops. We're going to harvest the log. Two, three, four. How come I picked up that many? Was there already one on the ground, was there? Let's just pick up everything. Alright, in here. Alright, so I just need the rope now. You know, if they're going to put them right in front of you, you might as well. Uh, I'll grab that, I'll eat that, probably put another one on cooking. Do I need another? I actually do need another piece of meat. Fine, okay. I will, however, have to come down here. Oh, oh, is that... They gave me steel alloy. It's not bad, eh? Put a few of them in there. What else did I have? I had a seed. They must have gave me a mechanical part. Uh, one thing we kind of need to do... Uh, now, was this... No, actually, I had that... Hang on, let me have a look. So there's that one, and we'll just get that one going. So we'll run around them again. If I take this out... I wonder if I just put the steel alloy in the corner there for a tick. Just throw these in here. Now, hang on, did I have an iron ore on me? I did. Okay, there is oil and biofuel in my inventory. I think I've still got the, yeah, I've got the hammer on me, so I'm going to go up here. Oh, I don't have the rope yet. Hang on. Don't forget your rope, Trev. I got enough. So, finish that, finish that. Alright. Actually, oh, so that's all been repaired, so there's nothing wrong with any of this. This is well upgraded. Probably just need to upgrade that one. Why is there stones always here? Um, oh, hang on. We'll keep Mike busy. Is this one here full? It is kind of full, isn't it? Okay. Let's grab another couple. Then I'll make sure that's upgraded. And I guess... Um, hang on, how many... I didn't think I had any stones. Well, how many went back into here? Oh, that's a fair few. Is that about 16 or something? I can normally see exactly how many stones I've got, but it's a bit difficult when there's a um, <laughs> just a rope in the middle. I think I need three more and I've got 20 again, so let's have a look. I think that should be it, so take these out. There's those 10. Take that. so there's another one we can upgrade so if I go back out here and I do this that means all these in this side have now been upgraded hmm I wonder if they're gonna keep coming and attacking these entrances in the base then this is ideal that did work really well. They tended to just get stuck there. I'm not sure about the um, the mini bosses, but they 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 were certainly not that effective this time around. I think. How many fragments have we got? Oh, I've only got that many. Hey, it's like nine sitting in there. So I have to put ten in here, ten in there, just to get enough to do one upgrade. Hmm. You know what? I really feel like I want to go for a run to the mines again. Mm. Well, the cart, yeah, the cart's just here, and it doesn't have much in the way of our, um, any ore left kind of thing. I might just put these out. Upgrade one of the traps. Uh, 
and then we'll just go to the mines. Might as well. Cool. Might as well take this downstairs, I suppose. I keep doing that, and yet, honestly, I can just go fall off the, the end of the building there, and it'll still be just as good. Uh, so this is the side... Hang on, one, two, three, four... I've got five of these upgraded. I wonder whether I shouldn't be just moving these guys and doing the same thing. Put one backwards and upgrade it. And then the same again with this guy. Maybe they should be further back. There or something. Or am I standing too close? Hang on. No, E Trev E. Hmm. I reckon if I put another two around this side, had them all upgraded. Hang on, maybe these aren't in the best position. Uh, hang on a sec. These are the ones they probably won't be attacking that easily, I guess. These are the upgraded ones that are in sort of that position. Or is that too close again? I don't know. Maybe that's a double whammy, I don't know. Put it a little bit closer, but not quite as close. Yeah, maybe that's a bit better. Alright, we'll move that right back to here. And then I reckon we actually do need to build another one facing there. Another one there, and then pick up this guy. Just turn that around. Can I put it in there yeah, like that? That's what I reckon. You know what? It's probably just as easy for me to cut down my own tree. Yes, if I can actually hit it with the axe. There you go. So there's one, there's the other. I thought I'd almost fell over a watermelon. <laughs> Alright, same thing again. We'll see if we can get all our sticks from just picking up this. I think we can. And then we'll have to go and get some rope. Those four. Oops, a bit too close to those four. So we just need two rope. So we'll use that again. Some of them in there. Yeah, that's pretty handy. Yeah, we'll just feed the extra stuff in there, I guess. Plant fibre gets put away, seeds get put away. Let's go fix up our rope. Actually, we might not get a chance to get to the mines today. I might even end up doing that off camera. There you go. So I've got one, two, three more to upgrade. I think that's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Ooh, nice stone. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. That was a probably the most successful defense I've had yet. So maybe it... Why am I... Actually, I'm out in the sun too much, that's what he's complaining. Actually, hang on a second. What do I have on my head? Oh, I just... Oh, that's right. I need another helmet too. Could put a hat on. That would help me with the sun. Um... Okay, well, I guess I'm going to end up leaving the episode here, I think. A little bit short, but I think I might do that. I'll go and do some, um... 
Fine gathering. Hey, hang on a second. They're still there. So that's interesting. Did they... So the guys that attacked the other side must have come from somewhere else. Maybe these guys were there the whole time. I don't know, unless they've regenerated in there ready for another attack. But the next one is probably more so going to be noise value unless I start cooking stuff again in the forges, But which I probably will. I'm just standing out in the sun, Trev. You're just you're not learning, dude. Not learning. Anyhow, people, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um... Yeah, I guess uh, I just need to cook up a few more stones. So if I go over to the mines off camera, by the time I come back, um, these mineral extractors will have a fair bit of stone in them so I can keep uh, creating some more iron fragments. And then I'll go out and I'll fix up the rest of those spikes. And we'll just see if that is actually now going to stop them from entering the base then and do hardly any damage. Then that is absolutely awesome absolutely fantastic anyhow all right people i will leave the episode here hope you've enjoyed the episode uh if you have you can really help out the channel support the channel by smashing the like button for the video and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel you can mega mega help the channel out by subscribing all right everyone thanks so much cheers